joined by the gods so far. Hi, my name is Maxine Yoshida. I am a classical singer. Nung pagpasok ko dito sa CSA, um, parang wini-welcome talaga nila ako ng maigi. Kasi kahit wala pa si Doc, inaasikaso na nila ako agad. Nalaman ko si Doc doon sa mga YouTube videos niya kasi ang dami nun and parang nainganyo ako. So, minessage ko sa Facebook niya. So, ang concern ko is yung nose ko kasi, ba diba, as a singer, dapat uh, yung physical appearance talaga nung kumakanta and nung nasa stage yung tinitingnan nila except dun sa voice quality. Huwag kayong aalis. We'll be right back. At alamay natin kung ano ang gagawing procedure ni Doc para sa aking nose. <laughs> Good day everyone, welcome to the CSA Certified Skin Authority. I'm Dr. Contessa, your Certified Aesthetic Physician here at the CSA Medical Aesthetics. Mga ka-CSA, meron tayong bagong kasama, isang 20-year-old female na I think she's an entertainer also. And actually, meron siyang model look. Okay, let's welcome Miss Maxine. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. So, she's here with us for a non-surgical procedure, particularly nose enhancement. And I think Maxine had seen our video presentation on this non-surgical procedure. Right, Maxine? Yes, no. Yes. Ano ba yung nagpa, uh, what do you call this? What made you um, decide to see us and also try to undergo this procedure? Kasi nakita ko talaga sa YouTube na. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> natural looking niya. Yes. At saka instant. Right. So exactly, most of our clients are saying that they want a natural result. And instant, of course. And they don't want any long downtime. Okay. Yes. So for every procedure that we do here, we have to check or do analysis of the face and the nose. Because actually, kanina we were discussing with Maxine that there's a so-called anatomical variation. So, meron po tayong mga specific types of nose. Meron tayong, ano, depende sa race natin. Sabi ko nga sa'yo kanina, di ba? Depende rin kung uh, what kind of um, or uh, ethnicity we have. So, meron yung sa mga Caucasians. Iba-iba rin po. Merong mga Roman type of nose, Greek type of nose, tapos yung sa mga Atin, Asian type of nose. Meron ding sa ibang part of the world, yung mga like for example, African, Mongolian. And they have different kinds of uh, nose structures. Eh. Meron kang mapapansin na iba sobrang elevated dito. Dito sa may ring yun. And then may hump. And then pointy tip talaga eh. The others naman, yung ibang uh, ethnicity, too much flaring of the nose naman dito sa sides. Tapos sa Asian nose, tayo tinatawag na cute nose. O yun, medyo parang button nose. O yun, medyo we lack here on the bridge or medyo wide din tayo dito. So, different kinds of uh, nose anatomy. So, different kinds of ano rin, uh, assessment. 
and of course different kinds of approach. So when I do my nose procedure here, I, I as much as possible individualize it. And I have to take into consideration yung kanyang face shape also. Make sure that it is proportionate to the face. Kasi beauty is balance, beauty is proportion. So kailangan pantay, symmetrical, even, and nakapasok siya dun sa tinatawag namin rule of thirds, yung, yung one third, second third, three third, parang ganun. Or yung rule of fifths. Dapat within the right ratios and proportions. Right, Maxine? Yes. Ayan, ang dami natin na-mention. Na so, in terms of assessing the, the nose anatomy, uh, we also, we look first at the radix part here. It, it should have a nasofrontal angle of about 130 degrees for, for female type of nose. And then, when we look at the lower part of the nose bridge, this one, because this is made of a cartilaginous structure, so softer, most of the time we see a so-called supratip break. Yung parang merong dent din dito. And then, when we go to the tip, the others have like a rounded tip. Like si Maxine, medyo rounded tip tayo, no, Maxine? And then, as we go down, infratip area, naka-downturned yung dito sa may infratip as well as the columella. And we have a measurement here we call nasolabial angle. Ideally, kung feminine type of nose, we want like 100 to 105 degrees. Medyo upturn lang ng konti. And when we go to the outer area, dun sa sides ng ating nose, medyo may konting flaring din. And feminine nose, you would want to narrow it. Okay? That's the ideal female nose. But of course, some people, uh, depende rin dun sa shape ng mukha, kailangan nakabagay. So, make sure that it is well balanced okay take note the nose kasi focal point ng mukha it's a center eh. so center of attraction so whenever you enhance the nose parang everything follows eh. right so yung mga nagpapa nose enhancement when they do a procedure like this iba yung impact parang people would look at you na something is wow like magsinawala ko said wow right yun yung comment eh napapa wow tayo eh but most of the people right now want it like so natural na people would not say, oh, you did nose job, you did yung procedure na ganito na, yun. Yung, you just want it very natural and also people can recognize you. Yan. So, yun, we did an assessment. We need to really do a radix definition and somehow make the tip elevated or projected and narrow the sides of the nose for a very feminine and natural looking nose ni Maxine okay and i wanted it to be very balanced so entire face and also syempre the eyes you have to also check on the eye area so typical asian eye din si Maxine okay and then in terms of the nose anatomy okay be careful also you should go to trained physicians those who are trained to do non surgical nose lifting because the nose has a very uh, complex anatomy, okay? We have to know yung layers ng nose and we also have to know the blood supply of the nose. And there are areas na ina-avoid namin na uh, injection and po. So make sure you go to trained aesthetic physicians to do your non-surgical nose lifting. Okay, so may tanong ka, Maxine, before we pose for a break? Important question people would always ask. <laughs> okay, um, I just want to share. I did my non-surgical nose enhancement about a month ago. Okay, and uh, initially it's the injection of the lidocaine. You feel the sensation lang from the lidocaine. Yung discomfort lang po is injection ng ating lidocaine. Like when you go to your dentist when they inject a lidocaine, that's the ano po, eh, discomfort. Eh. But after that, it's numb. The entire nose is already numb. So while it's being inserted, Hyco threads are being inserted, you're okay. So, ano lang, the first part, it's just a little bit discomfort, it's tolerable, but after that, you're gonna be okay. Oh, yeah, and we're excited, Maxine, right? Yeah. You're excited too? Okay, so, abangan natin ng actual nose enhancement for Maxine sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. back mga ka -CSA. so we will now do the procedure for non-surgical nose enhancement for Maxine so we'll start with numbing the area so this is a lidocaine to numb the tip okay I'll pinch the tip 
Inhale, exhale. Just a small amount. And then after that, we do the point of entry for the entrance. And then we'll start with filler. Okay. So filler is the hyaluronic. It's a natural substance. And I'm using a cannula. Soft cannula gauge 25. Okay. lang then I have to reach the radix part and then we'll push the filler into the radix to the rinion and then the bridge area to the supra tip to fill in the supra tip break and then after that we'll be injecting into the columella up to the nasal spine up to the anterior nasal spine. Okay. Pressure lang, Maxine, ha? And exhale. Purpose of this is to upturn the tip columella and narrow the alars. Okay. And then we'll proceed with the threads. I'm using PDO. So this is our PDO thread. PDO thread. In terms of the number of PDO threads, it will depend on the needed lifting. Because some cases, they already have good nasal bridge, so less threads will be injected. The others would want a higher nasal bridge, so we can inject more. So actually, this is just a quick procedure. Giving an instant result. I did combine with PCL also. So I have both PDO and a PCL thread. So for my tip, I use a short PDO. It's like a 30 to 35 millimeter. So open your mouth, Maxine, with your mouth, and then I'll pinch the columella and entry of our short thread. I do combination of filler, PDO, and PCL threads so that the result will be longer lasting. Now I'm actually done. So I just need to assess if we need more. I can still add long threads, like a PCL Heiko long threads, to further elevate. So I'm just adding Heiko PCL to further augment the bridge. Okay, inhale, exhale lang. If we want the result to be longer lasting, I really combine the PCL right now because these are types of threads that can last one and a half to two years. Though they are absorbable types of threads too. Okay, we're done. So, Maxine, I'm so excited to show you the result of your non-surgical nose enhancement. Yeah. Okay, so we will show the result to Maxine sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. And we're back, mga ka-CSA. So, we are done with our 5 minutes or I think less than 5 minutes non-surgical nose enhancement for Maxine. So, we're now going to show her the result. So, here's our mirror, Maxine. Okay. Hindi pa po niya nakikita, mga kasiyase. Ayan na po. Hold on to this one. Yeah. Okay. Look at the nose now. Wow! Yeah. Oh. We did a projection of the bridge. So, there's a radix definition right now. This is what we call radix projection okay with a like a nasofrontal angle of 130 degrees and then on the tip area we were able to project as well and define also the columella region so we were able to bring out your columella area and somehow made your nose narrower so parang nag slim ang nose niya and pati na rin face parang nag slim yes, right no. 
and bumagay sa kanyang face shape. So, bumagay pati mata niya, lalong naging blooming. <laughs> Mid-face area, na-emphasize. So, yung focal point of our face, the nose, yan, naging attractive na, more attractive pa. Mm -hmm. Right? Thank Achieve ba? Talk. Achieve! Right. <laughs> So look at that, parang we also gave her a natural nose line here. So when she's doing her makeup already, no more yung mga masyadong nose line, yeah. right? Yeah. Later on, we can still add a little bit of an aller Botox para mag-narrow pa or we can prevent aller flaring. Para pag nag smile hindi po nag-widen yung nose. Yeah. So, how's the experience? Paano, anong isi-share mo sa kanila? Uh, right. How was it? Sobrang bilis right. at... Sobrang painless. Yes. Right. Wala akong masabi. <laughs> yes. Thank Speechless you, Doc. Si yeah. yeah, I could say uh, the procedure know. itself is really painless. Kasi oh, yun lang sa injection ng lidocaine, that's the parang burning sensation or parang may habdi lang. But after that, it's already, wow, parang wala. <laughs> Numb. Numb po talaga. Kasi I had this, sabi ko nga a month ago, I did my bridge projection. Yung susunod ko po, yung tip projection naman. So I also wanted to narrow my alerts. Kasi I, I know some of my um, followers or viewers are telling me na do myself also. Right. Okay. So it's a great experience. So we did the procedure in in few minutes lang. And we were able to achieve na yung desired nose projection. And the important thing, she wants the, a natural result. Right. Yeah. Instant na natural pa in like few minutes and so uh, ang mga busy na mga kasi asay natin if you want to do a non-surgical nose treatment this is the best treatment for you na walang mahabang downtime po yeah. yan do you have any questions Maxine? Uh, may mga bawal po ba na gamot or mga kainin, kainin. Yeah. Yeah. every after procedure here we tell our patients avoid muna yung mga allergogenic type of food Yan, yung mga malalansa. Actually, we will give you a list of food to avoid muna. And then also, together with that, we have mga list of do's and don'ts. Ano muna yung mga bawal gawin or ano yung mga pwedeng gawin. So for now, actually, um, of course, you just did the procedure na may injection. You'll expect the next day soft tissue swelling only and then few days lang and it's gonna be okay na. And then take some oral prophylaxis lang like we give like um, analgesic or anything for the pain and parang oral antibiotics lang. That's it. And then, if you have a meeting, you can go to your meeting or whichever your activity is. Like, ako, when I did my non-surgical nose, I still had a meeting also with the, my nose done. Okay. So, thank you, Maxine, for visiting us and trying this non-surgical procedure. And thanks, Dr. Nikki, for assisting, of course. Yeah. So, wala kami masabi, speechless. It's it's really wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a term. Wow. Yun lang po. Okay. So, no more questions. And we usually advise for a follow-up, usually one to two weeks if uh, needed. Kung meron lang mga concerns, you can follow up pa. So, mamaya dadagdagan ko na lang ng aller Botox for further narrowing of the nose. Okay, ayan mga kasiyasay, meron na naman po tayong natulungan sa ating non-surgical nose enhancement in just few minutes. Okay, kung meron po silang katanungan, you may email us at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com our FB page, CSA Derm Centre, my Instagram, doc underscore Contessa. Our clinic is located here at the second floor, Pure Gold, Dau Building, Dau MacArthur Highway, Mabalakat, Pampanga. Contact number 045-331-1117 or 0917-504-4268 or 0933-860-9193. Is that right? Okay. So, yan mga ka CSA. So, hopefully, palagi po kayong na-excite sa mga videos na aming pinipresent sa inyo. Ang um, iba pa naming mga topics po, you can find them at our YouTube channel, Only Type Contessa Salvador. And please do not forget to click like and subscribe as well. Okay mga ka CSA, when it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority. Music